I see your Waffle House. This video is brought to you by the Officer Tatum Store. Merch link is in the description section. Make sure you get your merch. Like and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell so you get notifications anytime I go live. Make a video. Make sure you still subscribe to this channel. Like this video. Comment on this video. Share this video. Let's get into this. Ladies and gentlemen, the Waffle House uh, slanger. I call it a Waffle House slanger. She, 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 she slanging iron in there. She throwing haymakers. Well, I didn't know that this situation happened like, I think it happened almost two years ago or almost a year ago. But the girl from Waffle House in that, in that epic fight actually got on Tucker Carlson and it gave a statement about what happened. And it, it, you just have to listen to it. R roll the clip. Yo, <laughs> uppercut. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Why is Waffle House so ghetto, man? So even by the standards of Waffle House brawls, this got a little zany. At one point, someone threw a chair at a Waffle House employee, and here's the amazing thing. That employee effortlessly batted the chair away like Wonder Woman with her bulletproof bracelets. You're seeing that on your screen right now. So naturally, Boop. we wanted to speak to this cool-headed Waffle House employee who is completely unintimidated by thrown chairs. Online, she's known as Waffle House Wendy, her real name is Haley Booth. And Waffle House Wendy. <laughs> uh, honored to have her join us tonight. Haley, thank you so much for coming on. You were not intimidated and the tape proves it at all when a lunatic Waffle House diner threw a chair at your head. How did you remain so calm? Um, I really don't know. Um, it was, it kind of just all happened so fast. It was mainly just a pure rush of adrenaline and instinct that just kind of had me going. Had anyone ever thrown a chair at you before? I mean, <laughs> kids get rowdy in middle school, but not like directly at me. Yeah, good. Well, that, I mean, that speaks well of the country you grew up in. Um, how did Waffle House, I mean, I'm watching this and I'm thinking, I don't think I've seen an employee calmer under pressure than you, I assume you got some sort of award and special bonus from Waffle House Corporate. How big was your bonus? Um, um, I actually didn't get any bonus of it. Uh, the only thing that I did get from the fight was a write-up for breaking the sugar shaker. Um, so, and you know, telling them, them telling me, you know, hey, we're gonna write you up for the sugar shaker, but you did a good job, you know, protecting the store and making sure that you were all right. Wait, wait, you were written up for breaking a sugar shaker when someone threw a chair yes, at you? Yes, sir. Uh, Did you destruction point of out business property, yeah. How can, you believe they, can you believe they cited her for that? Or, or they got her in trouble for that? Tucker says she was calm. I saw her doing this. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> <laughs> Did you point out that you were the victim here? They watched the cameras. Huh. And, they, and you, it's all so the whole you, thing on the company camera on, yeah, like the security cameras and whatnot. Huh. So you were not rewarded or awarded for your bravery under pressure? Yeah, no, sir. Do, do you still work at Waffle House? Uh, no. Two months after the fight, um, me and my relationship was getting a little bit more serious, so I moved out of city. And they had told me that I'm always welcome back at that store and, you know, we're glad to have you back. You always have a place here. And uh, about six months later, when I went to apply at another Waffle House in North Carolina, I had found out that I was blacklisted and on the do not hire list. Because someone threw a chair at you? Um, I honestly think it was more of a if we can't have you, nobody can type thing. I love her energy, though, man. I, I love her energy because, you know, she seemed like she would be working at the Waffle House. She seemed like she a little rough around the edges. She got a little hood in her with a little tongue piercing. But I thought it was funny that she held it down and didn't. And still, and you should be ashamed of yourself, Fox News, with all these ads. You should be ashamed of yourself. Anyway, let me finish what I was saying. So I, I think I think it was pretty cool. I thought it was it, it's kind of interesting that that uh, they interviewed her, and, and I don't know why Waffle House. 
always got issues. Now, the Waffle House I used to go to when I was a police officer, they didn't have that many issues, right? I mean, it was just kind of slow. But a lot of Waffle Houses always got drama. Is it because they so cheap? Is it because they open all night? I don't know what it is. Is it the employees? I don't know what it is, but Waffle House got, they just want that smoke. 24-7, seven days a week, they want that smoke. But anyway, I thought I'd just play that. I was watching that clip, and I said, man, it's very interesting. I thought people would want to know and hear that young lady who was involved in that to block the chair. She, she became a meme that was mega viral. And I thought people want to see what she sound like and the stuff that she say on Tucker. But anyway, oh, look, a CPAP machine. I got one of those. I sleep with it every night. Anyway, all right, love you guys. I appreciate you. The full clip will be in the description section. I believe we'll put it in there. Like, subscribe to the channel. See you on the next one. I'm out.